Hey guys, this is Nitro. So, I know I've been doing a lot of videos from the start of the match, so I figured for this one, I'm going to start in the middle of the match, where combat is going to occur shortly. So this is a 1v1, Necrons against Necrons, and it's turn 45. So, with me having explored, you know, half the map, and my opponent should be starting around here, we're likely to engage in combat very, very soon. So, yeah, we, I mean, I'm, I don't know about you, but I've been kind of getting bored of the videos where I'm just doing the start strategy over and over again, where I'm just clearing the map. So this video will start with the combat that will occur shortly. So hopefully it'll lead to a better uh, replay to watch. Now with Necrons, I have gone very, very heavy with the Warriors in the early game. I have two heroes out, a lord and a cryptech, and I also have a second lord in training in two turns. In terms of research, I have both I have access to both the heavy destroyers as which is what I'm training in my capital as well as annihilation barges which I can train in my expansion. Uh, one flaw with my current start is that I have very ve I have fairly low energy income. It's 33 but it's been a struggle to support uh, my production. In large part, this is caused by how expensive the uh, the hero units of the Necrons are. So, I'm hope I have an artifact that gives plus four movement in the center, and I'm hoping that that will give me a huge advantage against my opponent if he m moves in. And I'm keeping all my units a bit behind these outposts so that if he grabs them, I can counterattack right away. In the While I'm also doing that, so I'm basically setting up an ambush for my opponents. And while I'm doing that, I'm also just clearing out some of the creep monsters that are on the map to just feed some experience to my heroes. I will begin training my first Annihilation Barge at the same time. So I have Heavy Destroyers in production, Annihilation Barges in production. And I really need to buff both my ore income and energy. Actually, I need to buff everything. Research, ore, energy, they all have their uses right now. So if he comes in, I firmly believe that the additional movement that this artifact is providing will probably win me the match. It's, in all honesty, I think the movement artifacts right now are ridiculously overpowered. It lets you bring all, basically all your forces to bear against your opponent, which is a really, really big advantage. Uh, you know, it basically it lets you set up one tile back one tile further so that your opponent can't scout you. And then you can move all your units into range to kill them. So that's my basic plan right now. I'm hoping for him to come in, grab some of these outposts, and then I'm going to smash him with, uh, with my army. I'm just basically keeping all my units as close together as they can because, as I said, it's just... And I will grab that. And the 
crypt tech leveled up from killing those enslavers. So I will buff their healing ability. It looks like the Lord also leveled up, which means I will upgrade the defensive protocols. And in my city, I can produce a building. And with multiple units coming out, I'm going to need ore to support the army. So in fact, I'm basically, tr right now I'm trying to balance my income properly, you know, keep enough ore to support an army, have enough energy to keep trooping and creating units, and you also need a lot of research because the research is probably the most critical part because you need to keep uh, ex researching and getting higher tech units. And in that sense, my research at 27 is actually quite low for turn 47 or so. But I am planning to increase that pretty dramatically soon because my city is at 9 out of 10 population so it's nearing its cap and I'm going to start constructing shelters to build it, to build it higher. And so the plan is I have shelters research to increase the population limit. I will have to research uh, the slave and master to have two built construction buildings and that will be done next turn and that will let me constantly build new shelters research buildings and whatever else I need in my cities all right Lord is out He's also going to give me population boost. Heavy Destroyer is also out. First one. And... I'm just going to keep clearing creep. So let's move the cryptic up and use these guys to all attack that and kill it. While I'm at it, might as well get him in pl into position to get some experience as well. So I've repeated this in other videos, but you have to be three tiles away from the opponent that dies to get experience. Everyone's close enough that I can get into range, and I just give some free additional experience to my units. I'm keeping these two guys in the center for now because I need to keep control of this uh, artifact. So, all right, let's just group them up a bit, and in my city. I will continue to produce heavy destroyers. Yeah. And I'll send it back over to my opponent. And I believe this query will oh, it'll put me at ten out of twelve population, so I am still okay right now. It's, the population is still growing at a decent rate. One thing to note is growth seems to maximize at 8. Uh, as your population gets closer to the population limit, the growth starts to decrease. So if you can have extra um, maximum population limit by building these uh, shelters, you should get them into play if possible so that your cities will keep growing at a good rate.
And other than that, I mean, I have there's actually quite a few expansion areas that I've noticed. For example, this one is very good because it gives me plus 40% energy with another 20% boost. So I, this is one great expansion area. Another one is if I build the tomb here, I can take this permanently under my control. Uh, but that, but the problem is with every settlement you build, your all your cities get minus six loyalty, which means ev the production will be decreased by 12 percent. So I'm already at minus six because I have two cities, and if I build another one, that goes to you know minus 18. You. So expanding again for a third settlement will not occur till, I guess, much later. It's in the early game stage. It's uh, that twelve percent decrease is just far too costly. You can't afford it. All right. So I'm going to keep moving units up. I'm going to keep two guys here for now, and I lost this outpost to the neutrals. If he doesn't make a move soon, I'm going to have to. It's, but not quite yet, because my whole army is still warriors right now. Move my lord up. And same with the cryptic. Oh, that, that was my cryptic. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. Uh. And now I'm just going to attack. City. I'm really running low on ore already, you can see. Let's see. Fortunately, there's a bunch of tiles that can give me additional ore upkeep. So I'm going to start grabbing these for more ore. But, uh, I also want research, so we'll see. I mean, I'm producing units at a good rate. Uh, actually, it's pr arguably like I ha don't have enough energy to support my production time, energy or or. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep training units and also try to get increase my research further. It is kind of a tough balance because you want to build up an army. But at the same time, every time you build up an army, your ore will be dropping. So how many how many units you make uh, will be reducing your ability to build research buildings. All right. First things first, move this lord up so he can leech some experience from these two kills. Next, I'm going to move up my first heavy destroyers and might as well move these guys up and just do an all-out attack pretty much all right the cryptech to finish him off and let's move up a few more targets to kill
this lord leveled up and who he will also get defensive protocols So once I get a few more heavy destroyers out, and at least one or two annihilation barges, that's when I'm going to start making a push towards uh, my opponent, right now, because uh, that's when I'll actually have some combined arms, right? Annihilation barges will kill warriors very easily, heavy destroyers are meant to target heroes. But since I don't have the combined arms quite yet, I might as well focus up on leveling up my heroes in the meantime. Ideally, of course, you would have a level 6 hero before you push. Because at level 6, that's when the heroes get their ultimate skill. And in the case of Lord, their ultimate skill is to summon a unit, a Praetorian, for 3 turns. And the Praetorian units are amazingly powerful. So... That's that's what you aim for in the early game. Bring your heroes up to level 6 and then fight your opponent. Hopefully when they don't have level 6 heroes. So with all these neutrals up here, I'm going to have a good time clearing it out. want to stay out of range of this bastion. So let's do that. And I'm actually having a big problem killing these things. Uh-oh. I can get rid of this one. Then I can get these guys healed up. So. Alright. There we go. So I'm going to move him up and use his healing ability to bring those guys back to full health. And, you know what, just attack. The second Lord, she's just gonna move up there. Again, these two guys are just standing there in place, and my first Annihilation Barge is out. Alright, I'm going to set a rally point over here. So that they just move themselves over. Train a new one. Keep training heavy destroyers. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to build a quarry to support uh, my army. Over here, let's acquire a tile and for research per researching since I don't have enough resources. Or, yeah. And I'm, it looks like I'm actually going to have to halt my uh, military production for a bit because I need to get buildings. So my short energy shortage is affecting my ability to balance troops and military right now. Next turn, I will have the building that constructs new buildings. Hmm. 
What's frustrating about this city is there's a cliff here, so I was not able to grab this ore field for the 20% uh, ore income boost. Similarly, this thing here is actually under another cliff as well, so I can't grab that outpost either. So, initially I was so excited about this expansion location because I'm like, I can get 60% ore income boost, but nope, I can't grab either of these tiles. And I'm going to re I'm going to change the uh, way po rally point on this up to here instead because my ar my hero and my main army is in that direction. So just a slight shift. All right. So I'm actually going to attack this, this t at this point and the easiest way is to lead with the Lord who will activate his defensive protocols to absorb the shot and he will charge in take the hit and then attack uh, move in a heavy destroyer to shoot it use these warriors to kill off uh, these bees. Second set of warriors. Third set of warriors. Wow. Takes four sets of warriors to kill it off a bee. Okay. There. At least it died. And move up the other warrior. Use the cryptic to take the outpost. And use the spiders to attack the bastion as well. going to move up those second set of warriors. Let's skip his turn. He leveled up again, so he's now at level 5. And now the, it's a choice between Dynasty or Defensive Protocols. And I'm, as I said earlier, I was planning on forcing the engagement soon, so I'm actually going to start with Defensive Protocols and get Dynast the third level of Dynasty at, later on with him. Similar choice with less defense. But he should level up faster so I can actually still afford to get Dynasty first. And in my cities, my ore shortage is preventing me from training units. Or sorry, my energy shortage. But that's okay because I need to build buildings anyways. So let's get some research. Ooh, ran out of time. Well, I'll build the research building next turn then. I will start by building the research building next turn, in fact. I think the big surprise for me is that there <laughs> he has not moved in yet. It's very possible he's also waiting for me in an ambush position. Once I have that second Annihilation Barge out, and a level 6 hero, 
I will make my move. In the meantime, I'm just going to continue to destroy creep. Excellent. So a few more things to kill. The cryptic healing is up next turn. So, let's move in then. I'll him use him to grab that. So I can't really move this guy in quite yet, because he's pretty damaged, so he'll heal on the spot. And that should be it for my units. Keep attacking, finish him off. Since he can attack something, he'll attack it. Skip this unit. And in my city, I said I was going to build the research building if I haven't already, which I haven't. Build the research building. And I have 39 more energy to use, which means I can build another building here, but it's already in production, so... That's it for my turn, then. Can't train anything. Because I only want to start training heavy destroyers right now. I don't need more warriors. Research, then. Let's get Ooh, extra infantry armor. Sure. What kind of weapons do they have? Heavy Gauss Cannon. So actually, that Atomic Flare technology is p potentially very useful too. Because it increases Gauss weapon damage. But I think I'd rather head towards Doomsday Arc first, rather than pick up a technology that takes 5 turns. It's more important to get access to high tier units. Then, rather than less damage increase. I'll also mention that some of these choices that I've made are could have gone either way. Uh, for example, Imperial em Accumulators that increase your energy income is possibly much better than getting annihilation barges, but this depends on, you know, for example, the map size. Because this is a 1v1 situation where I'm going to engage my enemy very shortly, I decided to go for annihilation barge rather than a long-term energy income boost. Um, and yeah, a lot of my choices so far have been about getting military out earlier, uh, getting a stronger army out, than it's been about building up my long-term economy. Still haven't really seen him. It's kind of interesting. Well, let's move the annihilation barges in. If I attack this, 12 damage. If I attack this, 7 damage. Let's attack the further away one. And I'm going to be focusing on getting kills right now. So... Move in. Shit. And I'm able to kill. 
kill it right there, which will give everyone experience. Heavy destroyers, same thing, just move in and shoot. This heavy destroyer, move in and shoot. And heavy destroyers really are not good against uh, infantry units because they only have a total of two attacks. Right? With whereas with these warriors, you're getting five attacks, and because you're at point blank range, it doubles. So these warriors basically pretty much have ten attacks, which makes them much more valuable against uh, infantry. And I want to have these guys gain experience, especially if I kill this thing. So I have to be within three tiles away, which means positioning right there. So he will do that, he will attack him, and he's just going to move up like that. So, attack, maybe finish it off, yep, there we go. He leveled up. I only have 30 seconds left, so I need to hurry. Uh, skip this. Move up one. Crap. Move him. Just move him. I don't care. Skip. And order my cities, which is training heavy destroyer. Make a quick decision. 10 seconds left. Can't train anything. Good enough. Okay. And wow, my ore income is now at negative 11. It's as because of having two military trainers. I'm just training units faster than I can support them. Right, annihilation barges upkeep is three. Heavy destroyer upkeep is two. So every two turns, I'm increasing my upkeep by five. I can't. I can't keep up. Which means I'm going to have to, I am going to have to actually just slow down my training. So yeah, I'm going to regroup for a few turns. I have a big enough military, more than I can support right now. So let's stop the training for a few turns and build the buildings I need, which as I was saying previously is getting at least a second uh, building constructor up. So that I build buildings faster. Alright, so the northern part has been cleared out. Ex heroes are at level 5 and 4, almost level 6 leaders. Yeah. 41.4 out of 45 experience. Nearly there. He needs 45 experience. He has 20. So he's still quite some... T pretty far away. But once I get this guy up to level 6, I can start fighting my opponent. So let's do it. Move him as far as he can go. Attack. Move him up. Attack. Right. He has a heal skill ready, but there's nothing that really needs healing. So let's just move everybody up so that they can leech experience. And everyone except for him is in range, which is... so, there we go. Attack. Attack. Move him. Move the Heavy Destroyer to recapture, because Heavy Destroyers aren't very good against infantry units. Attack. And I don't actually want to kill, because I want the lords to get experience. They're out of range right now. So... Let's 
just stay put. And he will retake that outpost for me. I'm going to set this guy to just hold position. He's just standing there beside the uh, artifact. And the annihilation bar just moving up. Lord leveled up last turn, I believe, but I didn't have time to give him the ability. And I said I was going to just sleep some buildings because my my I can't even upkeep units right now. So let's build up some energy and also just get ready. Once these cities have their second uh, construction building slot, the Slaver Master, that's when I will be able to make a third expansion. Because you know, taking a 12% hit on production, uh, when you only have 5 production, it really hurts. But when you have 10, it's not as bad. You still build at a good rate. So, con the the uh, slave mastaba is one of those buildings that people don't think it's that important, but it really is. It makes all the difference. And this turn is when I should get access to level 6 heroes. I'm just moving heroes up. I'm not really trying to use their abilities if I don't have to, because I want to save it for uh, when I hit my opponent. There we go. Experience for everyone. If I kill him, one, two, three. Yeah, it's still too far away from, from my heroes, so I won't touch that guy. But I will hurt these things. Stand here for this turn. He Lord leveled up, and I can finally summon his ultimate ability. And I can also produce another leader, in fact, now that I saved up some energy, which I will do so. And it'll be just another Lord. I don't really need it. I can build another Cryptic later, but don't need it right now. And other than that, I need to keep acquiring tiles. And now I was saying I want more research, but I'm building the research buildings in this city. So uh, let's just acquire a tile. Any tile will do. Uh, I don't want the 40% yet, because I want th those all four ore buildings. What I need to build first is uh, a second construction building. The research building's nearly done, then I need construction building and actually I'm still minus six on ore, so I'm going I am going to have to build some ore buildings. Oops. Actually I need a 
bunch of things. Ore buildings, construction buildings. <laughs> I actually need to build some loyalty buildings too, so I need to research that technology. Because my loyalty is steadily going down. That's actually one thing I haven't mentioned. For each population that you have, your loyalty goes down by one. So as your cities grow, you need to build loyalty buildings to keep you know, all your production up. Otherwise, it just keeps dropping. So, after I get the extra infantry armor, I might just have to go back and get the loyalty building. Doomsday Arc and Triarch Praetorians. Alright. Heal them up. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, kill them off. Shoot them down. Oh no, the cryptex out of range of all the, that experience. Oh well. the kill anyways. There's so many targets anyway, so I might as well just wipe them out quickly. So I can, since I'm in a rush to attack my opponent, and I'm going to move my units up. Level up for the Lord. Similarly, get defensive protocols first, military focus, then population boost afterwards. Uh, continue to buff up my research. And I'm going to. Actually, no, I build an ore building right there. I need some ore. It's going down really, really fast. Oh, I saw those bees take damage. That means my enemies has units down here. Alright, so that means I need to move fast. Yep. Heavy destroyers, yep. So I'm not going to fight these robots. Just gonna start shifting downwards towards where his base should be, which is around in the center here. Hoping that will catch him completely out of position. Which I think it will. I will kill these guys on my way down though, because there's just no reason not to kill things that are <laughs> in the direction that you're heading towards. gonna lose these kind of outposts but that's no big deal because as I was saying if his army's out of position I'm okay and ideally while I go in that direction I'm going to find 
some trader camps to get some equipment for my lords and heroes. So... Let's just shift down... Yep, and that found an orange outpost in that direction. Move him down like that to shoot at him. Move the Lord down. Move these guys down. Oh. Okay. Lord, if he's right here, he can get experience from both of those guys. Cryptech, one, two, three, one, two, three, he'll get both experience. So, yeah. There we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, then the Cryptech will finish it then. Whatever. Level up. Population boost. Cantopec spider. Shifting down. Unit. No, I'm not going to finish that kill. Similarly, not going to finish it. Order my city. And I said I want the second construction building, but I don't have enough resources for it right now. So let's just capture a tile. actually going to hit negative ore, or I'm going to hit zero ores very soon. Despite build, so actually I'm, you know what, I'm going to disable some of these buildings next turn. I'm not using it, so I can disable it and save myself some ore income. So his heavy destroyer army is grabbing my outposts. But the advantage that is, I'm pretty sure I have him caught with his pants down. Like he's, he, it looks like he's far away from his city. So I'm, I'm betting on the fact that I should be able to kill his city that's right here. Extra infantry armor came in just in time. So let's move down. Most important units are the lords to get into range of getting f experience. Which warrior? Oh, the heavily damaged one. So let's move him back. He'll get into that. I'm not grabbing this because I'm trying to stay out of sight of my opponent. Finally, 
don't have enough ore income, so let's just disable buildings. me at minus two which should hold me for enough turns and I was saying I want loyalty building so let's go back and get it Praetorians. Does that mean he has it already researched? Let's see. Nope, it's a summon. It says one more turn that he's alive. So he doesn't have them researched yet, fortunately. Like me, he's using his lord for summoning units. But I'm keeping mine because I'm planning to attack his city. I'm hoping he keeps advancing with those units, because that will leave him completely out of position and he'll be desperately trying to run back. But I actually, I believe he's spotted. Yeah, he's actually spotted me. Sorry, because he's three tiles away. That means I see him and he sees my units. So he is probably shifting some units back now. Well, in any case, I'm going to move up then. Since I've been spotted, there's no reason not to advance aggressively. And Kabuki's saying he's probably screwed because of the movement artifact. And this is a surprise. I haven't come across a city yet. I would have thought that since I was here, he would have spawned right there, right the opposite of me. But he didn't. So he just grabbed that, which means he's shifting those heavy destroyers back up, or back towards his base.
Warden to summon the Royal Guard, the Drag Praetorians. We will move up. And I'm going to focus down the Heavy Destroyers first. Over here, I'm going to build the second construction building. Over there, I can keep building research. Right now, with all my military buildings disabled, my ore income is positive. So, let's get my research going. I can't even support uh, in any additional military units anyways. So, might as well increase research in case I can't crush him. And as a side note, it seems like I don't need shelters whatsoever. Uh, at least not with Necrons. Because as long as you keep those lords alive, they provide you with all the resources you need. Or sorry, all the population you need. And I have to keep in mind that he has units here that are coming back. So next turn he... So I need to be careful about keeping these guys alive. So let's wrap around, or not. Let's see. Who did he buff with that skill? I have no idea. Oh, anyways. Ah. Uh, crush his flank then.
up. Skip. Lord with more population. All right, research. Let it, the fight's happening, so let's get atomic flares. This guy, this annihilation barge is going down. Ooh, he is training Triarch Praetorians already, so he's actually ahead of me in terms of military research. If I can kill this lord, I'm okay. Damn. So he definitely went for research focus as opposed to overly heavily military, which I did, which put him ahead in terms of research. Uh oh, so I'm a bit behind now. And in fact, maybe I shouldn't uh, get atomic flares, but I'm not... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's two technologies ahead of me, that, that's what it means. Let's see, if I try to clear tiles... I can't clear tiles that the enemy is on. That's too bad. Lord down. leveled, which means I can Triarch Praetorian again with this one. Well, next turn. Skip unit, move him up, get him towards the fight, clear my notifications, and end my turn. This is... Oh. I wish I had a few more annihilation barges. The 
lack of them is going to hurt a bit this in this fight. But I think with the mass heavy destroyers and so on, I should be fine. Especially since I've been killing his left and right. So he's working down my warriors. Because he knows that DPS that they add is... Well, like, it's because the warriors are the most vulnerable units in my, mili in my line right now. So I need to get the lords with their defensive protocols into play. And now I'm also wishing I had another cryptic. Wow, that hurt. Right, as I'm losing units, <laughs> I'm getting the ability to support new ones. goes another heavy destroyer. So to catch up in research, oh boy. G 
This is hindsight. Getting this atomic flare technology was a very bad idea. I should have gone for something here, then headed for Triac Praetorians. But it's okay. I'll fight with units that are a bit below him in tech. Oh shit. There's his city with 140 hit points. Oh, jeez. Good. He kills warriors. I'll kill his main units, hopefully. And I screwed up. Damn it. He was able to heal. He's actually tactically outfighting me right now. Because my heroes are out of the fight. So no, even though I have more units than him, I'm, not, I'm actually not able to push through this army and then crush his base, because he's just constantly churning out more units. I 
I did kill the Lord, though, so that helps. So I guess I'll f choose a few more targets to take down and then get out. And you. Hmm. It's moving back. Is he relying on Overwatch? Yes, he is. Or so I thought, but he shot everything. I thought he would have moved back and then just left that guy alone because it was a summon. But instead, he fired everything off. So that means I can attack him again. If he had s set everything and not attacked, it would have made it tough for me to attack because of the Overwatch. Protocols. Get these guys in to soak up the hits. And attack.
I'm going to need a new window. New forces. So I'm going to go negative four again in order to train units. He's moving back, retreating, defending his capital. Which is theoretically smart of him, but it also gives me the opportunity to work around and hit his expansion. Let's get into there, open the shop, actually first things first, give him that concealed weapon system and then sell it. And let's buy him 4 hit points, because he's my lowest level hero, so might as well give him that buff. Well, I will continue to take all the outposts on the map. And I need energy. Or ore. Let's do ore. the next research. I'm going to skip Triarch Stalkers because I want and I'm just gonna go for Ooh, Cantopex spiders can repair allied vehicles. Whatever. Growth. I doesn't particularly matter. I could have gone for the repair ability. But it costs... oh no. Hmm? Oh, it, it doesn't show. No, it's fine. I, I, I do have the cryptex to repair units, so... Don't need yet another healer. Hmm, he settled both cities very, very close to each other. So actually, it's going to be a struggle for me to push in.
Ooh. The increased gas damage was actually much higher than I thought it would be. Look at that. Just one shot almost killed the uh, bees. So maybe going back for that technology was not a bad, such a bad thing after all. Oh, let's just keep scouting out things. And yeah, let's kill it off. So I can't really push in because he's camping his cities. So I'll just settle outside of him and grab some experience. Oh no, my movement artifact! <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. have to move back to get that artifact. City's growing well, 14 population, and I'm not using most of it. I've been trying to catch up on research. So let's also build energy. So now these buildings come are getting produced ultra fast very soon. Still a few enemies running around here. He's being smart enough to re-grab things a little, that are close by anyways. If I had this movement artifact, I could have killed these guys, <laughs> but because I don't... Oh. Okay. Oh, another art. 
artifact, right by his base it looks like. summon the Praetorians to quickly get me that kill so that I can retake my artifact. to some map clearance then. For now, I'm going to stop recruiting heroes. I'm just going to buy uh, artifacts for my existing heroes. Yeah. 16 influence income is a good amount to just slowly get armor and hit points for your units. Yeah, being able to sell this close with Necrons is kind of silly. There it is. This artifact gives hit points. Interesting. Resurrection Orb City I want, I want to start building these loyalty buildings Research. Finally, get access to Praetorians. Hmm, that's interesting. Quantum shielding. But I'm actually I prefer to get monoliths if, if I can, because I have I already have melee units, so. What? Let's do that first. Get my research going. I'm going straight for monoliths right now. Research. 
I will probably get some doomsday arcs. Let's check out their stats. Doomsday arc, 32 hit points, 7, 3 range. You can't move for it to do the high damage attack. little there's no reason to sit around his base because I'm pretty sure he didn't expect me to have pulled back like this If I kill him, only one guy gets experience, but that's fine because the other guys are all over level 6. Oh. <laughs> right, Praetorians are a melee unit. They don't do that much damage. Alright, in my city... I was going to get some loyalty buildings. Let's acquire a tile first. Oh no, there's it's fine. Loyalty. And I also learned something new. Every tile you capture seems to decrease your loyalty by one. So as you grab more tiles, if you want to keep your I loyalty, your influence up income going, you have to build some of those loyalty buildings for six influence. Every tile you capture decreases your influence. Oh. Looks like this is probably his cap his cities. Enemy is here, I need to be three tiles away, so let's do that. One, two, three, so like right there. So that I can attack him and finish him off. And I'm just going to kill it, whatever. I now have the option of clearing the north here. But... I don't know if it's worth losing all these uh, outposts. Probably is. Let's do it. Head toward 
towards the north. At this point I can change the rally point to just as far as he can go, which is four tiles like that. Not training units, I'm stocking up on energy right now. Energy and research is, well, I can build an ore building here. his first monolith, so he is ahead of me in technology. And the monoliths, in fact, is why I pulled back. I was expecting them to show up soon, and they have. For him to have monoliths trained, he's still fairly far ahead of me in tech. Damn it. So he's advancing again while I pulled back. Yeah. I was considering getting monoliths, but I decided otherwise be or sorry, doomsday arcs, but I decided otherwise because doomsday arcs can't move in order to shoot properly. So rather than train doom units that can't move to shoot, I'd rather save up my energy so I can train lots of monoliths. Right? Because they have 64 hit points. They're significantly tougher to kill.
group everyone together. And over here, I'm still holding off. Better than that, I want to build loyalty buildings in my capital. Or, actually... You get either or, I mean. Loyalty will give a 12% boost. So, we'll see. I have map control, but he has monoliths. Um, God, I hate those things. And I'm s behind him in getting monoliths. I'm still like eight turns away at least. So that's why I retreated for now. The other reason to retreat is as he moves forward, I can ambush him. So. I'll let him take these resources, which are outposts, which don't matter all that much with the income values we're getting. And if he moves any further, I should be able to ambush and destroy whatever he pushes with. Can't crush his cities, unfortunately, because he set the tomb levels to high, so he was able to build both cities beside each other which made it almost impossible for me to push in. Well, in any case, let's just farm a bit more experience then. And it groups up all my units together so that I can counter attack. Whoa! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, forget it! Didn't expect this many robots up here. Let's group up and get ready to fight. Round two, basically.
Oh, three stalker to kill. Maybe even a three lord to kill. Monolith moves up. Well, I will use the Praetorians to draw the fire as the summon unit, and then engage, and hopefully destroy them. Oh shit. He spotted my movement artifact.
Oh wow, multiple monoliths. Uh oh. Focus on destroying other units first, then. Morning. Oh boy. Unexpectedly, I couldn't kill anything at all. That's not good at all. So I'm going to lose a whole bunch of units this turn. I think I need to build more royal, more hypno style temples here in my expansion. Oh, Cryptech heal is two range. Learn something new. This is going to be rough.
I'm starting to regret <laughs> not getting <laughs> these technologies, Doomsday Arc or Triac Praetorians, because I'm not able to get any upgraded military units right now, and it's really starting to hurt. If I had gone for Doomsday Arcs and I had like two or three of them right now, he wouldn't be able to do this. Because the Doomsday Arcs would crush him. But without those Doomsday Arcs, I'm in serious shit. Do monoliths have multiple attacks or something? 